Welcome back to the shop, guys. There's not a whole lot a man likes better than some new tooling, especially some brand new tooling out of the box. I got a new vise here, and this is this is going to be the new vise for the shaper. And I'll tell you how this, uh, you know, what come about right here. So, you know, for some time, I've been dealing with that old original vise on the shaper, you know, the original vise that come with it and it's it's got a lot of wear in it the moving jaw lifts very it just lifts a lot so it's got a lot of wear in it and one of the feet where the uh, clamp bolts go is broken off of it uh, i'm sure it's stuff that can be fixed but uh i've just been thinking about for actually for a pretty long time about putting a uh, modern style milling vise on the on the shaper and just do away with that old vise so that's what I'm going to do. So what we got right here is a 5 inch model 550 V vise from Shars. And this is their uh, high quality import that's made over in Taiwan. And I've got some experience with Taiwan made tools myself. I've, I've got the Vertex Super Spacer is made in Taiwan and that's always been a great tool. Uh, it's never let me down. It's a, it's a pretty good quality. The Victor lathe over here is a, this particular generation is uh, made in Taiwan. I don't know where the, the new ones are made, but the Victor's Taiwan made. But anyway, this line of uh, vices that Shars sells right here, this particular line is, uh, is made in Taiwan. So I had contacted them. I, I talked to Rich up there at Shars Tool and was telling them that I was looking for a like four to five inch vice for the shaper and they've got some pretty inexpensive ones listed on their website uh, as well as the other tool sites too you know i was looking at some other ones and they're all pretty equally priced they're all uh, low quality made in china vices and that's that's kind of what i was going for was just one of those and um, rich was telling me that they've got this higher end model uh, from Taiwan it's a high quality import versus the Chinese import and he thinks that I would be much happier with this vice versus that made in China one so we went ahead and went with this against the five inch model and this particular vice right here from Char sells for $295 and the swivel base which I got with it as well is an additional $69 uh, they have a four inch version and the four inch is 250 bucks and then you can also get the six inch which is i believe it's a direct copy size of a kurt d688 so theirs would be a 690 v uh opens up the same width the uh, 6.9 inches and that that one is 320 dollars so i'm i was pleasantly surprised when i opened this up out of the box and you know the the grinding on it looks nice we've got some nice beveled edges on there it just it looks like it's a good quality piece all right so some of the specs on this is you know listed on the website for for this particular vice and it sounds like the uh, same manufacturing specs and uh, materials that would go into say like a kurt kurt vice it's a 80,000 psi ductile iron body and the bed and the, the uh, jaws are flame hardened ground to uh, 45 Rockwell hardness. All right, and then the, they said that the parallelism with the, uh, with the bed should be within five, I'm sorry, five tenths, a half a thousandths, uh, two and a half inches from the bottom. So this should measure two and a half inches uh, within a half a thousandths parallel and I've got a spec sheet right here from whenever this thing was manufactured so they've got their their actual stamped on here whenever they inspected it on the bed height there's your two and a half inch plus or minus a half a thou they say it's within two tenths parallelism vice bed to, to a vice base three tenths and then the uh, fixed jaw being perpendicular to the vice bed right here four tenths so just under a half a thou parallelism fixed jaw to the keyway four tenths all right this was made over a year ago 2016 there's a breakdown of all the parts right there 
All right, and then uh, a couple other notes is that the the vice body and the jaws have a 10-year warranty against uh, defects. I guess if it breaks, they'll warranty it. The screw and the nut have a one-year warranty on that. And I think that's about it. So what I'd like to do, this is just out of the box. I haven't even cleaned the oil off of them yet. So what I would like to do is uh, clean them off real good. I'm going to clean the granite plate and I'd like to set them down on here and just use my own indicator and see what kind of repeatability I get on, on inspecting it. Now, that's saying, again, this is not a guaranteed granite surface plate here. I have not had this thing inspected or lapped in, so my, my readings could be different than what the spec sheet says, but I just want to do it anyway just for fun and, and see what I'm getting. Um, but we'll just play around with it and see. Just taking that the bottom of it. That's the first time I've looked at it. Oh, it does have the keys as well. I wasn't expecting that. So we got the we got the keys. And this vise is supposed to open up five inches. So you got a five inch width there, and I believe this one opens up. You have a five inch capacity. Now on your outside, you can move the jaws to the outside just like you know a Kurt style vise, and you can put your part right on top of the main vise. And that has a 12 and a half inch capacity right there. Okay. So I'm going to get them cleaned off and uh, let's play with some indicators and see what kind of inspection readings we're getting on it. I flipped it over to take the keys out of it and it felt like there was just very slightly like a burr on those keys. So I took my stone and I just, just very lightly rubbed over those to remove any burr that might be hanging up. I think we're good to go. And I got the uh, the granite plate cleaned off. I used my uh, Stand Ridge cleaner there. And I'll give it one more wipe and we'll set it over here on top of it. So the specs says that this only opens up to five and a half inches. I've got it opened up all the way. And it's right at seven inches. If I was to call a measurement, I'd call that six and 15 sixteenths. So that's a bonus, I guess, because I wasn't expecting it to open that wide. And it's really good too, because I've got, I've got a job that I would like to do in this. It's a, it's a nice big steel block that's flame cut and I'd like to square it up. And I was thinking it'd be fun to use the shaper to do that on the weekend and uh, use the new vise for that. But I was afraid that this wasn't going to hold it. So uh, this was unexpected that it opens up, so I'll have to let Rich know that I, I'm not understanding why it says it's only good for five and a half when it actually opens up to right at seven inches. So looks wise, it looks beautiful. The grinding on here looks absolutely beautiful. All the grinding on it looks great. It looks like a good quality piece. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to set that indicator up and I want to do some... Uh, checking across here to see how parallel they are All right, we're gonna see what Starrett says about the How parallel it is with the bottom of the vise right here and according to the spec sheet vice bed to vice base three tenths All right, so we'll see what I get again. Remember this. There's no guarantee on this granite plate. Okay, I've already uh, set it to zero right here. We're going to go ahead and slide her up on there. It's uh, maybe a half a tenth off. Hopefully you can see that pretty good with the camera there. Not quite a half a tenth. All right. Let's go ahead and move it. We'll move it to the back side over here. And we'll slide you over. All right, it's looking like the same place on the on the face there. It's uh, not quite a half a thousand, half a tenth, I mean. 
I mean, it's just off the of zero. All right, so what we'll do is just come around here like this. I'm not going to try to pull any trickery on you. I'm going to I'm going to slide this guy over here. All right, and then we'll bring you guys over here. And let's see if what if we get some repeatability here. That's looking pretty good, guys. There's not much difference on that needle in relation to the zero line. All right. Slight bit of movement as I go across the bed there. All right, we're going to come off. We'll move over here. millions you're, you're talking just millions of an inch difference there so I'm reading well within the specs that they've got on that inspection card over there on this uncertified granite plate I think we're doing pretty good I can't go all the way across I don't have enough travel here you know stick out on the indicator to go from one side to the other that's why I'm having to move uh, from one side to the other I just can't get all the way across there I don't think it'll reach it. No, that's as far as I can go right there. So what's your opinion on that? What do you think? I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to blow smoke up your butt here. I just wanted to see it for myself, what, what it's doing. So I think it's pretty good. I'm gonna go back over here. So if I'm showing any difference, it's if you go from one side of the, the bed to the other. Can see a little difference there. Let's, uh, let's go back over to this side and uh, check that. Yeah, it looks like on the very outer edge of the the bed, it drops off just slightly. Not very much, so that's about the worst that I can see of what we got going on. Pretty good. I'm happy with it. I think that'll work for an old shaper. All right, so one last test. What we need to do is get the uh, swivel base over here and we'll check it also, just like we did here. All right, we're gonna go ahead and check this swivel base now and see if it's within the, anywhere near the same tolerance. So I've already, I slid it up right here and tried to set a zero as best I can. It seems like everything wants to settle once you let go of it and you move it off. It tries to change a tenth here and there. So I just decided we're going to leave it right where it's at. Now, a couple of things I was going to point out is it uh, looks to me like they paint this after they grind it, after they do their grinding inspection. Then there's a, there's a little edge of paint on this right here that I'm going to have to scrape off. I need to I need to get that off before I mount the vise down on this. It's just right around this, uh, right around the edge, on both of them right there. All right, so let's. Uh, that's about plus one tenth. All right, showing about plus two tenths right there. Let's just spin it and 
check it that way. Two tenths. Alright, so you got a little bit lower spot right in there. About a tenth. All right, not too bad, you know, what, one and one and a half tenths difference. Let's go on this outer, this outer edge and see what it's doing. It looks like we dropped off a tent. Yeah, looks like we're going to get about... Uh, two tenths of different uh, deviation in our you know, being parallel and flat across there so not too bad I think that's going to work out just fine it's it's um, I'm surprised with it it's it's closer than what I was thinking so they did they did do a pretty good job on it I'm just gonna have to come in here and and uh, get this the little edge of paint off there because that's going to affect how how the vice is pulled down on there Alright guys, I wanted to give you one more shot. I'm going to use the Sony to kind of give you a better uh, better picture of the indicator moving. So uh, we're just going to do the, we're going to move the vise. We'll sweep it, sweep it around and uh, just do one more quick check. So hopefully you can get a little better shot and make it a little more interesting for you. And we'll start with it right here. So we're, let's just call that two tenths plus. That's where the indicator settled on that spot right there. So we're just going to leave it right there. It's just a barely over the two tenths line. And then we'll move it down to this end. Very, very similar reading. All right, we jumped up to about three tenths there. Not quite, but it's right at the line, so that's nearly one tenth difference on that reading there. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That wasn't good. I'll try to take it easy coming off there. Let's come back to this and make sure. All right, so there's our two tenths. You can see that little bit of a ramp from one edge to the other. Not really showing now, so that must be in the indicator. All right, we're going to come off. We'll try to slide this down without bumping everything. Yeah, I just bumped the camera. All right, we'll flip it around and we'll come back in. And let's look at the other side. So about one tenth. So from the other side we're getting about a tenth difference now. Okay. Come off. Let's go down to the back end. That one's really close to two tenths right there. So I believe as before, uh, total, we're getting like one to one and a half tenths difference across the, the bed there. And that is, uh, you know, that's with a unguaranteed granite plate that's going on right here. So anyway, I know that's always a, a good shot to share with you there using the, the close up on the Sony. So hopefully you enjoyed that. I'm feeling pretty good again about the, the measurements that we're getting. So I want to go ahead and uh, start getting this thing mounted up and we'll see it. We'll see it mounted over there on the shaper. We got our table cleaned off good. We'll use the middle T slots right here and a couple T nuts. I've got these modified I had to mill them a little bit to uh, fit in there and these are some I've been using so we'll go ahead and get our swivel base set down I've already got the T-bolts 
stuck in there. That's what the little casted slots are for on the back side right here. Just go ahead and drop them in. And I want to make sure that the zero is on the front right here. Yeah, that's going to be a good fit right there. All right. Now, I just remembered, <laughs> I got ahead of myself. I need to get this paint edge cleaned up right there. So I need to do that first, and then we'll set the vise over here. All right, I scratched that edge with a razor blade, and then I took my stone and just lightly touched it. The, the bolts, I'm going to have to do something different with the bolts. I don't like these cheap grade bolts, and I've got to space them with a few of the washers here. But this is just a temporary thing to get it mounted up. I'm going to see about uh, buying uh, some better bolts to go on this or maybe even just get some I like the T-bolts myself that slide in and you put the flange nut on it that's that's what I prefer but we'll just go with this for now alright so let's go ahead and let's get our vise on there alright am I going to have room there we go Well, it looks like you don't want to fit. This thing has got a it's got a rolled edge right there where it looks like that stud was pushed in there with a hammer, like it was tapped on with a hammer. I can see the little marks on the top right there. That's why it's not fitting the bottom of the, the vise. So I'm gonna have to fix that. You can definitely feel it rolled over right on the edge. Okay, so what I had to do on this base plate, I took my fine file and went around and filed it. I just didn't, you could probably just press that out, but I just went around and hand filed it until it looked like it was even. All right, and then I took a little bit of sandpaper and just kind of rubbed it like that. And I checked the fit again and it was still a little snug. But what I what I discovered, I didn't look at it that close until now, but the inside, this hole was painted. So there was a lot of paint in there. So I just went in there with my scraping tool and just scraped that paint out of there. All right, so I think we got it now. Yeah, there we go. All right, so let me uh, <laughs> reverse this and then now maybe we can go back together with it. All right. Let's try this again. There we go. Much better that time. I don't know if that's going to be three quarter. Uh, it's going to be a metric. No, thirteen sixteenths. All right, we're not going to uh, worry about squaring it up or anything. There's about 90 degrees right there, but uh, let's see how it feels nice and smooth going around. I think we're going to set it at uh, zero right there. Go ahead and snug it down and right now we're gonna for video sake we're gonna call this one done all right 
that looks like that's going to be a good size vise for the shaper. It's uh, it's fitted just good, <clears throat> just the right size. The six inch base down here was just a little bit too big. I mean, it was sticking out so that you couldn't put two bolts in there. So that's why I went with the five inch size. All right, we're going to call this a wrap, guys. So as far as the vise goes, I'm happy with the build quality of the vise itself. A little unhappy with what how they uh, handled the the swivel base there, you know, with some of the, the painting and then the, the fitment of the center pins. That was that was the worst thing that I found in this vise. You know, we did our checks and it seems like it's well within the tolerance that they spec'd out on the website. And this is gonna be a good vice to use right here. You know, I would I would really be interested to try out their um, their six inch model on the mill to see how it does, you know, but <clears throat> we're gonna we're gonna do the five inch and I've got a job coming up as I said that we're gonna put over here and and do a little bit of shaping on I, I, I hope so we'll be coming at you real soon with another shape of video and I hope you enjoyed this one and we'll see you real soon